Thank you, try the veal. It's the only thing that doesn't come from a can. When I started doing comedy, I didn't hit the ground running. I hit the ground with a face plant into a jagged pothole. I delivered for DoorDash to support myself. And my wildest customer was Castor. Caster, what happened to your clothes? Uh, what are you talking about? Everything is accounted for. Right, my bad. I wanted to do a comedy bit on Caster, so I went to ask his permission. Can I please talk about you on stage? Uh, it'll be insulting, but uh, in a tasteful way. There's going to be no cheap gags, no pratfalls. Uh, that, that hurt. <laughs> oh, God. I swear, I need, to, uh, I need to give up drinking. At least when I'm working on my roof and it's before 10 a.m. and I'm wearing my good robe. Eh, never mind. You, you didn't d die. Better look next time. So it turns out Castor is this 3,000-year-old immortal. And soon, we make a deal. Castor gives me some killer story to use on stage, and I keep a secret. Some may call that blackmail, but I call it unorthodox inspiration. Castor told me about when he embarrassed Julius Caesar at a celebration, and I adapted the story into a stand-up set that kills on stage. Castor confronted me about it later. I admit it was nice to see people enjoy my story, but you get one thing clear. We're not partners. You are just a microphone for my voice. You're the one who wanted easy inspiration. Now it's time to pay the price. Every week, Castor tells me a story from his life, and we do some publicity stunt to break into the world of stand-up comedy. If you get this message, please send help. Rick, you can practice later. We have to steal some Prohibition era booze to jog my memory about when I was a bootlegger. What a sick joke. <laughs>